Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart here. Japanese whiskey, Nika Ooh, from the barrel. Nika from the barrel. We're going to test it. Japanese, Japanese style. style. Okay, last year, toward, was in the fall sometime, I saw this uh, in Wichita in a shop. I didn't buy it, mm. and I think it was Whiskey Advocate or San Francisco Whiskey Awards. Somebody all of a sudden said, Nika from the barrel, best whiskey ever. Really? Well, I was best Maybe whiskey. Maybe San Francisco won one of the, treat. It won one of the awards. <laughs> so I go back to, this was at um, Jacob's on North Rock Road okay. in Wichita. Right. Gone. So I'm like, dang, I should have picked it up when I saw it. Mm. Just recently, though, a new batch or um, some more bottles have you got a lot of FOMO. showed up. FOMO, fear of missing out. Now, what do you think of this bottle style? I don't know if okay. I like it. Just telling you, it is different. The style and it's a screw-on cap. I I like that. That's big with the Japanese though. Screw-on, which cap, is fine. Yeah. Seals good. Well, up. screw-on or synthetic. Ooh, oh, that is a lot. Yeah, you can pour some back in. I haven't tested it yet. It's true. Right. So, um. Now, it's a short squat bottle. Yes. Even when I saw it before and I saw pictures on social media, Steady I thought hand. it was a three I thought it was a 375 milliliter bottle. It's not. It's a 7 that's a 750. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's just a short square yeah. bottle. Wow. Yeah, it just Wow, it's just I don't know what to say. Uh there, and there's not a lot of information on here. I do believe this is a, a malt. I don't know if it's single malt. It could be a blend. All it has is Nika whiskey from the barrel. We could have looked some of this up. There's some Japanese writing on the label. We don't do a lot label. of uh, research, though. It is 51.4% ABV. No That's age nice. statement. Yeah, I wish there was. I want a neck. And it is a little, it's a little more square. I mean, you're getting some volume there, but it. I don't know if I like the bottle style. Yeah, it's different. It's unique. Yeah. I don't. I Give won't, me a long I won't neck. claim whether I like it Give or don't a, like it. I do. I want a long <laughs> neck bottle. I won't. I'll even take a goose neck bottle. I don't even know what that is. All right, citrus on the nose. Right. Got to watch out coming in. It's got a little sharp nose. You did say, what is it, 53? 51.4. 51.4. So I came in and got a little, ooh, ooh, little back and up. It's got a little ABV on the nose. Yeah. Not too bad. Caramels, vanillas, creams. A lot of vanillas. Citrus. Yeah. Vanilla and citrus is primarily what I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. It takes over the palate as soon as you sip it in. Even at 51.4, it almost feels hotter than that. Yeah. Like the ABV, the alcohol really saturates everything. There's a lot of caramels here. A lot of maltiness. Yes, I was going to say, I get that malt, but it's like a heavy, thick, fresh hay, if that makes sense, and it doesn't. But that malty goodness is there, and it lingers and stays in the finish. A little bit of roasted nut. But that maltiness circles back in. Fresh moon hay. But richer. Honeys. Yeah. Honey but sweetness. But a not, not like a super sweetness at the same time. It's interesting. No. Um, vanillas. Mm. Very, yeah, it's very nice. Very nice mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. Nice finish. Hangs in there. Now, you've sampled a little bit. Um, I know we're getting ready to check it. Does it change with the touch of water at that higher ABV? That's I'm, what I was I'm curious. going to see here, We're going to dive in. Nice. Boy, I would still, actually, not, still not much of a bottle presentation. <laughs> it just seems weird. Yeah. And you don't even really see it, notice it on the shelf if you're not. I mean, I barely caught it at, at all. Yeah, Auburn it's almost like it's like shelf. a it's almost like a brick. It's like a brick. But look at that, nice colors. Just to show you, like next to a Weller bottle. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, it's short, it's squat, it's square. Yep. And they're both 750? Yeah. And, wow. <laughs> it <laughs> just know, doesn't, yeah, me, it too. just doesn't seem like it. But, yeah. Yeah, when I saw pictures online and stuff, I've always thought that was a 375 mm. model, 375 milliliter, and it's a 750, which surprised me. So, um, you know, though, for if that's from the from the barrel, if no water has been used, why is it 51 percent? Seems like it should be a little higher than that. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Or it's really old, mm. but I don't think this is really old. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's really old, 30 years old that would allow it no, where 25 or 20 30 years where it would bring drop it way down where though. it would drop to that. Yeah. Um, it's nice. I mean, not, to me, it's probably 10, 12 years old, somewhere in that range. Hmm. I like it. Citrusy, caramels, sugars. It feels like it's just. Ex bourbon cask yeah, or somewhere along those yeah, lines. Yeah, good velvety um, mouth feel. You know, sometimes they're using the Mizanara oak, and you mm -hmm. get some of the sandalwood. Right. I don't. I'm not getting any of the sandalwood mm -hmm. here. But that which is would a be really great, nice. great whiskey. It is. Yep. I mean, I've had people ask me, say, you know, what does Japanese whiskey taste like? And I always say, and this is definitely an inclusion, not that it is, but it's way more on, do you like all the different regions in Scotland? Because you're, you're definitely getting a Scotch bourbon barrel profile here, in my opinion. And that's, it's delicious. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm -mm. I agree. I think you get now some some Japanese whiskeys though, and I don't know if this is one of them. They do import Scotch whiskey and they blend, use it as a blend. Mm -hmm. But I don't like. I say I should have looked it up to see if this was a. No. I want to say this is a single malt though. That this is from Nika. Okay. I don't know for sure. All right. Are you doodle budding? Yes. Because I'm going to give my score, but I'll wait until you've got yours in there. Mine starts with a nine and ends with a zero. Ninety-two. Oh, there you go. Uh, about on par though. Sometimes I'm most time I'm a point or two higher than you on some stuff. Mm. Uh, very nice palate. I, I mean, it's, it's kind of weird if it's from the if it's from the barrel that it's at fifty one percent. Just seems a little bit low. Very tasty though. Very nice. I would like um, if it had some of that Mizanara was showing. Maybe it will. Maybe it is in there. It's just not showing yet because this is. I just bought this yesterday. Matter of fact, mm. how much? Uh, so, oh, so yeah, seventy five dollars. Mm. Yeah, worth it, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Really rich. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of mouth. No, I, actually, I think some places you're going to see it up to a hundred, maybe a hundred and twenty. Oh wow! In that range, yeah, well, I think it's still worth that. No. Still good. Your price, great. Nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Anything um, else going on? Patreon shout outs. Mm. We've got a lot of patrons coming in lately. I think a lot of folks have been watching us with the uh, with the uh, shelter in place, and uh, they feel a little love for the show. So if you feel love for the show, go to Patreon. Look up Scotch Test Dummies. Yes, you help us out by giving us a dollar a month, five dollars a month, twenty dollars a month, or a thousand dollars a month. Wow, Whatever I like that last one. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, chat. Christopher Campbell came in. He's a two dollar supporter, so we get, he gets a shout out here. You ready? Christopher Campbell. Come on down, bro. Woo. Thank $2. you, Christopher. Appreciate nice. it. Thank you very much. Yeah, you get a you get a shout out with gusto and feeling if you come in at two dollars. Yep. And Cliff Smith came in, one dollar supporter. Cliff Smith, thank you. Thank Good you, mention. Cliff. Appreciate it. Yes. Are we gonna slide down for one more? No. You no. wanna do I think we should. One more? Yeah. Three dollar supporter. Right. So she is going to get shouted. Andrea Swift. Swift. Woo. Now it could, it could be Andrea. I've seen Andrea, 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 whichever. You, you can also send a photo. Yep. You get two shout outs at a $3 support right. level. You can send us a photo if you like. And generally we say you have to cover the pickle. We generally uh, say cover the pickle. In this case, we could say cover all the pickles. Cover <laughs> stuff that's supposed to be covered. You can, well, yeah, I mean, some people have asked. 
you know what, what about the picture can I be naked no nope. you can't be naked. right yeah we had That's folks saying yeah yeah all right so we you just can jokingly send in a normal said pic- yes yeah we jokingly started responding with you send us a photo as long as the pickles covered yeah but to be open minded as long as the uh the precious bits yep, well, yep. that are covered <laughs> <laughs> or just, and so, or you don't have to send photo at all, or dress normal. You know, someone's gonna send us just a picture of like a, a pickle with a tablecloth coverage or something. I mean, like yeah. an actual pickle. Yeah, I'm not talking right. dirty pickle. Yeah, with their face <laughs> photoshopped on. No, just a pickle, man. Yeah. I'm just telling you, a pickle <laughs> on a plate with like a napkin covering it or something. That's what we're gonna get now. All right, we're good. We'll come back. We've got a few more to shout out. So if you've sent me some, yeah, yep, uh, know that we will get to you. When you do back on Patreon, you get a little shout out, just like what you just saw, mm-hmm. and it and it sends us some love. Yep, send us some love. Are you ready? You were going to point. I thought you were going to say something. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Let's launch it. <laughs> 